One of the other really cool new features in Reason is the ability to send MIDI out of Reason. Now, we know that MIDI has been able to be recorded and manipulated inside Reason forever. That was its initial raison d'etre, was as a great MIDI sequencer. Of course, it's taken on lots of extra capabilities since then. But this new MIDI out thing is amazing because what it does is it allows you to bring in any MIDI triggered hardware from your studio into your Reason project directly. And this is a really, really cool thing to do. So let's start off by having a look at how to set it up and then we'll have a look at a couple of practical applications of how to use it. So to start with, if you go up to the Create menu and you go down to the, where is it now, Instruments menu, you can see that we have a new option here called External MIDI Instrument. And if I select that, you get a new module in the rack, External MIDI Instrument module, and it looks fairly straightforward. And basically this is able to route MIDI signal out of reason through your interface, out nearly said your audio interface, through your interface, which needs of course to have MIDI out capability for this to work, but then the vast majority of them do. In fact, you might find that if you've never used MIDI out before, this could be a good reason to start. If you've got some old drum machines or some old synths lying about your studio, or indeed if you want to get into buying that kind of stuff, there's some really cool kit that doesn't exist in software form, you know, it's uh, it's always been hardware. People are still making really excellent MIDI hardware these days. And in order for this to work, of course, you have to set up MIDI out, but that's fairly straightforward. If I just go to the preferences and the advanced menu, I can tell Reason to use, you see I've got various MIDI things set up here, but the interface I wanted to use is my Steinberg UR22. So there it is. It's as simple as that. And of course, my device is connected. And what I've done is I've connected a MIDI hardware cable from the MIDI output on my interface to the MIDI input on my hardware, which in this case happens to be a Roland stage piano. So I'll close that. I will go to my MIDI instrument and I will tell it to use the interface that I've just selected. So now it's going to send any MIDI that I send through it out through my hardware to my keyboard. Now, of course, this only makes sense if your MIDI hardware is connected via audio cables to something, because just sending MIDI signal to something that isn't connected to any kind of mixer or interface isn't going to do anything. So I've got my piano hooked up and routed back into the same interface. It doesn't have to be routed into the same interface. You can use separate MIDI and audio interfaces if you like, but most of them have both. So in order for this to do anything, I would either need to record some MIDI into the track here, which I could do by simply playing it. I'm playing a MIDI keyboard, which is sending signal through the system out to my stage piano. So I'm not playing the stage piano, I'm actually playing a MIDI keyboard on the other side of the room, but everything's hooked up. So if I was, for example, to just record some signal into there, that's being routed back in. And in order to record that as part of my project, all I would do is create an audio track here, expand it, and tell it to use, I happen to know that it's connected to input two. I can turn monitoring on. And if I wanted to record that as audio, all I would do is press record in a loop like this. So if I just zoom out slightly oops, and mute the MIDI out device, double click that. There's my audio part. And so what I've done there is I've very simply used 
MIDI output from Reason through an external hardware unit and recorded it back in. And of course, with the new slicing tools, I can play about with that as well. Bit of a strange uh, part there, but you get the idea. Now, if I wanted to do it a slightly different way, I could delete these clips uh, by just pressing, by coming out of that mode and pressing backspace. I could delete my MIDI clip too. Uh, I wouldn't have to just trigger it by using a keyboard. I could trigger it using one of the generators inside Reason. So if I select the external MIDI instrument and then choose create, let's say, a matrix pattern sequencer, I can paint some data in here. And if I press tab to spin the matrix round, you can see that it's connected itself to the sequencer control inputs of the MIDI unit. And so now, if I play back, what you should find is that the piano that I have connected is played by these notes. And there you go. And the procedure for recording that would be exactly the same.